Hello, Paul here, and uh, sure you can create brushes and other apps, but none of them give you more flexibility than the brushes that you can create in Illustrator. I'm gonna cover just one, the pattern brush, which is my favorite. So here I am in Illustrator, and what I wanna do is I wanna take these graphics, right, simple branch, create whatever you want with whatever stroke, fill, whatever, but then drag it into your brushes panel and select pattern brush. We'll click okay. Sure enough, here we are. Here's our pattern brush. We can see it's making the pattern and we can define the corners. Yeah, auto center them and everything looks pretty good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select that brush. You can see it right here, the one that I just made. Hit N for pencil and sure enough, draw away. And I can create whatever I want. I could even apply those to additional vector paths like I have right here. In fact, look at these other lovely brushes created the same way, and you can see how it changes the look of this text drastically. Uh, but let's go beyond that, right? So what I wanna do now is I think it would be really cool if we had like a head and a tail to this, and that's what you can add. You can see these assets right here, right? So what do we do? Well, we take those and we'll turn them into a swatch right down here. Just drag them to your swatches panel right there. So I wanna do that for the head and the tail, like so. Then we'll double click to go back into our pattern brush, and sure enough right here, yeah, let's add the tail, there it is, adds it like so, and then the head as well adds it like so. We'll click OK, we'll apply it to our text right here. Sure enough, you could see the roots and everything, and you could always reverse those paths if you want to as well. But let's go beyond that because each one of these strokes has a different color. So I wanna maintain that color while still using the same brush. So check this out. Uh, right over here, we'll double click on my brush. We'll go in here, we can see right down here, colorization, sample the color that you want to change, and then we can change it to the tint of the color of the stroke. So I'll select tints, sure enough it changes, tints the whole thing, that color that I have selected for the stroke. Tints and shades, so it's gonna tint it and shade it, that color that I've defined for each stroke, and then we have a hue shift, where it's gonna shift the whole thing like it's a color, wheel, which honestly I'm kind of into. So this is amazing that you can do this, have this level of control, and all you need to do is create some simple brushes. And if you ever want to see what a brush is made of, just grab that brush from your brushes panel and drop it right into your document. You can see it right here. So let's take a look at some other examples. Here are a bunch of brushes that are made just basically using basic squares. Here's the brushes themselves. Here are just some simple lines. And let's go ahead and pick some of these brushes that are already created. You could see how the brushes change the entire look of the piece. And it's all from these basic rectangles. So I encourage you to make something cool with these amazing pattern brushes. There's a ton more Illustrator can do. I'm just grazing the surface. But thank you so much for watching.